everyone. The topic for today's presentation is what is sperm DNA fragmentation? After trying a couple of months at home, when you finally visit the fertility physician, he may recommend a test that is the semen analysis, semen culture to rule out any infection in the semen sample and along with it a sperm DNA fragmentation test. What is this sperm DNA fragmentation? This refers to the abnormal genetic material or subtle abnormal genetic material that may be present within the nucleus of the sperm which may be one of the causes for not allowing a pregnancy to occur or in certain cases the pregnancy may also occur but may result in very early pregnancy losses for which no cause may be obtained. So there are simple tests that are available which your physician will recommend you to undergo and if the sperm DNA fragmentation is less than 25% it is absolutely normal. Should it be more than 25% but less than 50% your physician may recommend some changes in the lifestyle factors like if there is history of smoking for a long period of time or there is presence of excessive alcohol intake your physician or clinician may recommend you to reduce so as to bring down the sperm fragmentation lifestyle factors play a very important role in controlling the sperm DNA fragmentation also if the sperm DNA fragmentation is more than 50%, your clinician may even recommend a surgical retrieval of the sperm. Sperms that are obtained directly from the testes through a minor surgical operation and then utilized for an IVF or ICSI cycle. The sperm DNA fragmentation if high reduces your chances for conception and at times it may also reduce your chances with conceiving with IUI and even IVF or ICSI. It is for this reason that one needs to test for this sperm DNA fragmentation so that they can be counseled accordingly. The sperm DNA fragmentation test can be done just on the semen sample. Your physician, it takes about three to four days for them to get the report. Your physician may, in such a scenario, prescribe certain antioxidants to help reduce the sperm DNA fragmentation. These antioxidants are typically, typically given for about six weeks to three months before the sperm DNA fragmentation is repeated. Once we find that the levels have come down to less than 25%, ideal being less than 15%, your physician may then request you to start with the treatment for your case. Should you require any further information, it is best to discuss this with your physician and get to know more about it. Thank you. The topic for the next presentation will be how do we improve sperm count and sperm motility?